So I'm back, it's me Skin Going Afro, I'm back with a new YouTube video. Um, someone commented on my previous video, her name, her name or his name, sorry, is The Red Golden Child. Suggested that I should start commenting on good positive news from the Caribbean and the African diaspora. And, you know, the achievements that they make. You know, talk about them, my views on them, you know, in my next video. So I'm going to do that one tomorrow, but today I've decided... That I'm going to try and switch up my videos as well. Not just doing those ones. But I may also do another video. I may do a video on the Black British Panthers. Because not a lot of people know that there was Black British Panthers here in the UK. They assume it was just in America. And that's not the case. So that one's going to come next week. But today I just decided to speak about my skincare routine. Because you know having a good skincare routine is actually very very important. And... It can be so simple. You don't even have to use a whole load of products at all. You don't have to use a whole load of products. But I'm just going to do this video to show you the the products that I use on my skin. You don't have to use them. I'm just showing them to you, you know, just to get it out there. So first, this Olay product is Olay Refreshing Facial Cleansing Gel. I use this in the morning to wash my face. It's almost finished. And I just find that this works really, really well for my skin because I have sensitive skin, so I can't use everything. You see how people are using charcoal, these um, charcoal products on their skin? I can't use charcoal on my skin because it irritates the hell out of my skin. And it's unfair because you've got these charcoal face masks and facial washes. And I literally cannot use it on my skin whatsoever. If you have sensitive skin, but it's not as sensitive as mine, you may be able to get away with it. But me, it's a no-brainer. So I use this Ole Refreshing Facial Cleansing Gel. In the evening, I use a facial soap. I used to use the facial soap twice a day, but now I only use it once a day. And that's at night time before I go to bed. So I use this. I use it seven days a week i'm gonna have to get myself small when i go shopping next week when i go down to one stop if you live here in birmingham you'll know about one stop um so yeah i'll get some more of this i really really like this product to get cleanse my skin very well as you can see i don't have no spots on my skin which is a miracle because i'm always getting spots as you can see i am prone to dark marks and seeing i've got a little bugger hiding up here and one down here <clears throat> want to come off my skin jeez you see i got two spots on my face at the moment but i used to i usually have a whole face full of spots a whole face full but since i've been using this thankfully no i think i'm in love with this product like seriously i think i'm in love with it like literally i love it and then after i've used that depending on the day because i only exfoliate three times a week no more than that i used to back in 2016 i used i was going up to four times a week exfoliating my skin and that was working well my skin was clearing up i had very little hyperpigmentation but then what happened was my skin started getting very 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 sensitive and so after that my skin was like you know what i've had enough of this and then I went to I went to get my facial hair waxed because yes I have facial hair like a lot of women I have facial hair you see chin hair this right here like my little mustache like how dare you disrespect my face like this like seriously how dare you disrespect my face but um <laughs> but yeah so I was exfoliating four times a week and then before I went on holiday in September 2016 like the day before, no, two days before we went on holiday. So it was a Saturday, we went on a Monday. So two days before we went on holiday, I went to get my I went to get my facial hair waxed. Now it was my first time getting my facial hair relaxed. And so I went there and everything was good. But I did notice that my skin was starting to get very irritated, which was unusual because my skin doesn't get irritated that often. So then, we went to the airport Monday morning. We got to the um, Manchester airport that Monday morning. 
and my this whole side of my face had one massive rash on it one big rash on my skin so my skin what my skin at that point and had enough i had to had to go to the boots pharmacy in there spend some money on this expensive ass product they gave me some um what's it called this um antihistamine cream but you can't use it continuously you have to use it for a limited period of time you can't use that cream all the time so you know i had to put it on my skin i also had to take antihistamine tablets to get it to go down it took like a good we, we went to barbados it took like a good week or so before this rash even went down and then just when i thought it could not get worse i ended up with um rash on the back of my leg as well my skin was just acting up that freaking year back in 2016 my skin was acting up and i still have dark marks now for my those spots were on the back of my legs it was so fucking annoying and I was just like, you've got to be very careful what you're using your skin because at the time I was exfoliating, I was exfoliating my body, I was exfoliating my face, and I was overdoing it. You've got to be very, very careful. And I use Saint Ives, if you can see that. I use Saint Ives product. This one is a naturally clear apricot scrub blemish fighting one. This one works really, really well. The only thing is, you have to be very, very careful with this. I would advise, it says you can use it daily, but because my skin is sensitive, I only use it, I only use it three times a week. And sometimes, just once a week, it depends on my freaking mood and how tired I am. Because if I feel tired, then I'm only using it once a week, because it's just like, you gotta use this to wash your face, then you gotta use this, and it's just like, you know what, no, 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 no. But sometimes what I do is, I'll put some of this in my hand. And then I will squeeze out a bit of this and mix it together and then I'll rub that on my face so I can exfoliate my neck and my face. And I find actually when I do it like that, my skin gets a better gets a better cleanse. It's like using the it's like using those cleansing brushes. You know the ones where they do that circular motion around your face and everything. It's similar to that, so yeah, it tends to work out. And then once I've done with that, aha, my toner. I use this simple, the simple soothing facial toner. I absolutely love this product. I've been using simple products since I was about 18. They've been around for a very long time. I'm about to, I'm about to be 30 next month. They've been around for a long, long time. I think they've actually, I'm sure they start, I'm sure they started their products in about 2004. I think. Don't quote me. <laughs> Don't quote me, but I think it was in 2004 they started their product line. I remember, I think I remember back in the day, simple products used to have alcohol in them. But I'm glad they've taken them out now because when I used to use the toner before, I'm sure it used to have alcohol in it because it used to leave my skin very, very dry. But now when I use it, it doesn't leave my skin dry at all. I absolutely love this facial toner. Now, toners are really good. Toners are really, really good because they can even out your skin tone you can even out your skin tone and plus it removes excess dirt off your skin so if you've washed your face thoroughly and you've used exfoliating scrub but you just wanna you just wanna do a quick once over you can use your toner and this will not only like i said even out your skin tone but it will also remove any excess dirt that's why i use just one just use one of these just use one of these, put this on there, and then you just wipe it around in circular motions around your face, around your neck, and it gets rid of all the excess dirt. Now, toners typically work best if you use them twice a day, so I use them in the morning when I wash my face, and I use them at night after I wash my face as well. So, that is that is just part of my skincare routine. I mean, my skin is not perfect. As you can see, like I said, I have dark marks on my skin but compared to how my skin used to be it's actually improving so i thank god for that and i know a lot of people are using rose water now i might have to get myself some rose water because i just want to give it a try and see what the hype is all about because it's supposed to be good for your skin and good for your hair and you know good for good everywhere so you know mm. and then i use my favorite my favorite 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 facial cream astral now you can use this on your body as well but i only use it on my face and i absolutely love this cream i use it daily i don't use it at night time i use my palmer's cream i use my palmer's cream at night time this cream is just oh 
this cream is for getting rid of dark marks and improving your skin tone as well the good thing is it there's no bleaching products in there so if you're worried about using this trust me don't and it leaves your skin soft like butter seriously my skin always feels so damp soft after i've used this so i use this face and body moisturizer i use it on my face and then what i started to do this past since last week is use my vitamin e oil during the day as well if you can see that vitamin e oil before i used to use this before i used to use this just at night time but i found that since i started using it during the day as well my skin is really really improving at night time i use my vitamin e oil and i use my vitamin c serum you can get this from superdrug it's not that expensive and as you can see that it's a decent sized bottle anyway you don't even have to use that much so what i do is i just get a few little drops this is what it looks like this is what it looks like you just get a few little drops you mix that in with the vitamin e oil which looks like this Sorry, where's it going? Why is it not showing up? For some reason, it's not showing up on camera for some reason, but yeah. Or was I holding it down too low? Hold on. See, there you go. Finally got it. My bad, it was my fault for holding it up too low, but as you can see, that's what it looks like. It's brown. I mix these two together, I rub them together till it's smooth and then I rub that all over my face and I use it at night time now the vitamin C serum is really really good I've heard that it's really good for getting rid of dark marks as well and also just naturally naturally good for your skin vitamin E oil is like a new thing a lot of people are raving about these products actually vitamin E oil using it on your skin and vitamin C a vitamin c serum using it for your skin as well because i think skin dermatologists are actually talking about using a vitamin c serum so and the thing is you've got to be really careful when it comes to using a vitamin c serum i would not advise making your own i would suggest you go and buy one unless you are that gifted because me i would not be making making this by myself no sir so i would advise you know you go to the store you get your vitamin e oil now this one you can get online the website is www.vitamineproducts.com so if you want to get some yourself then you can do now i got this from superdrug like i said it's from superdrug it's not that expensive at all i think it was about three pounds so it's really not that much and as you can see it says directions for directions for use after cleansing apply a small amount of the booster directly to skin and then follow with a moisturizer i don't like to do that because if anything gets into my eyes then my eye will swell up like nobody's business um so alternatively mix three to five drops in the palm of your hand with your chosen moisturizer i choose to mix it with my vitamin e oil i think that works best for me and then you blend it in your blend it in blend to smooth and massage in your skin so that's what i do and then i was said with the cream this is what it looks like the palmer's cream i use that at night time i rub that on top of the vitamin c and vitamin e oil blend and my skin is soft and it takes a good long while you have to use this for a really 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 long time before before you start to see any improvement in your skin with dark marks see smooths smooths marks smooths marks and toned skin so yes that is it really that is those are the skin products i like to use oh one more thing facial wipes i don't use these every day i use them sometimes i use them once every other day the only problem is with, with facial wipes is I find they make my skin very dry. 
Now I did use one today because like I said I only use them rarely because I got sensitive skin I use these three in one these three in one gentle cleansing wipes. I don't use anything that is for dry skin because those ones will not work on my skin. Well this one is actually for dry skin but because it's Nivea I can get away with using this using this you know so yeah this is this is basically my skincare routine so like I said I use Ole refreshing facial cleansing gel I use St Ives apricot scrub blemish fighting scrub this works really really well if you want to reduce the amount of spots you get on your face and also to reduce the dark marks trust me use this it does take a while to kick in if you want good skin you can't just say well if one product doesn't work and I'm using it for a week then that's it no you gotta use stuff for good three months before you notice a difference so like I said some of the stuff I've got now I've been using for quite a while no I have to admit I did go a couple of weeks without using these a good couple of weeks I started using them again last week I was just washing my face and then going because I literally could not be bothered it was like because when I'm at uni I'm like when I'm at uni and I come back home sometimes I'm just so tired I'm just like you know what let me just wash my face put my cream on and that's it I'm going to bed but as you can see I'm running low on vitamin E oil so I'll have to get some more I'm going to get some more from Super Duke rather than ordering from the website because I'm trying to not order so much from online because sometimes it's better to just go out to the stores and that way you don't have to pay no extra charge you know like ordering a product and then you have to pay for delivery like when I go on, go on no time. Mm -mm. and then the vitamin C serum yeah I'll have to get some more of this because it's running low as well and as I said <clears throat> I also use the simple facial toner I love this stuff it contains vitamin B5 witch hazel and alantoin I think I spelt it right <laughs> Oh, did I say it wrong? Ugh. But thank God it has no alcohol in it. But yes, Witch Hazel is a really, really good product. Really, really good. So, yeah. And my favourite astral cream. I just love it. This is the cream. I actually don't take this on holiday. I don't take that on holiday. What I take on holiday is my Palmer's cream. But it's not this one that I use. It's not this one I use. I use the one that's got the SPF 15 because I find that works best. Like you don't have to use, you don't have to use too much if you don't want to. An SPF with just 15 is fine for when you're going on holiday. Especially since, you know, you do need, you do need an SPF. But the problem is you also need to get some vitamin D into your skin. I didn't even realise until I read about it last week that there is actually a number of things that can be wrong with your body if you don't have enough vitamin D in your system. If your vitamin D levels are so low, it can cause tiredness, it can cause it can cause cancer, it can cause bone pain, joint pain, muscular pain, literally everything you think about. Now I take some vitamin D supplements, I'm actually going to do another video about this, about the dangers of not having enough vitamin D in your system, I'm going to do another video about that, I don't know when it's going to be today or sometime next week, but I will be doing a blog post on it, so just wait on it, but yes, like I said, I use this Palmer's cream, I use this every day, I absolutely love this cream, no other cream keeps my skin soft, though tell a lie, I was using, um, I was using a body cream by love bro naturals i was using one of their body creams and that cream left my skin feeling like butter the only thing was because there wasn't much in there it only lasted me about a month whereas this lasts about six weeks so you know but i do believe to have some more of that cream on the website now so i will be ordering some more because i love those and it's also black owned you know so yes i use palmers i can't believe i only just remember this now and i'm doing a skincare routine i have absolutely no shame whatsoever but yes i use palmers cream cocoa butter formula and it contains vitamin e see everybody's obsessed with vitamin e oil now aren't they 
Daily skin, daily skin therapy softens, smooths, relieves rough, dry skin. 24 hour moisture and it smooths marks in toned skin. So yes, I love this cream. Now it's best to get this one or get the one with the SPF. You don't have to get the one with the pump butter. You can get the one with the normal lid where you just open it. Um, they have another one that they've just come out with. It's a new one. The only problem with that one is fragrance free. And trust me, when they say fragrance free, they literally mean it. it smells like nothing. No, actually, tell a lie. It doesn't smell like nothing. It smells awful. It smells like gone off coconut oil. I don't know what the hell's wrong with it, but it smells the stank and nasty. Can't go on so. Mm -mm. No, trust me. Get this one or get the smaller one or get the one with the SPF 15. I think they also do an... I think they also do one like this. I think it's with aloe vera or I'm thinking about Vaseline Intensive Care. I don't know. But I know this is not just the only one. So yeah, these are just the products. These are the products I use, that I like to use. All of this. Yeah, I can't get them all in my hands right now. But yeah, this is just what I like to use. Lord Jesus. So there you go. This is what I like to use. And this is what keeps my skin nice and supple. I'm getting older. I can't be taking a piss with my skin anymore. I never used to pay much attention to my skin when I was younger. It was awful. And then I wonder why I was always, I'm always bitching and moaning to my mum about, Mummy, I got another spot. And I come a grown ass woman and she's like, it's your own fault. And I'm like, she's, she's got a point. It is my own fault. If you don't take care of your skin, your skin not going to take care of you. So, you know, you don't even have to use all these products that I use. Just do what is best for you. If your routine is simple, like you just got one, you just got one facial wash or a soap or people wash their face using that um, mincella water thing. If, you, if that's what you feel to do, then do what is best for you. I'm just saying these are the products I use and these are the products that are actually working for my skin and are helping to improve my skin. Because I want these lines to get any deeper, you know? Mm -mm. Don't want these lines to get any deeper. Oh, and by the way, if anyone's inquiring where I got my lipstick from, this lipstick is by Anna Beauty Cosmetics. She is on Instagram. I'm going to link her Instagram down below. So, there you go. Bye.